Hey everybody, this is Crime3D on the tube, and so are you, so is your mom. Well, uh, here is the current state of the moose, a character that I've been working on for the past almost a week, and um, today I'm going to create a low-res proxy cage for use with FX Metalink. Uh, if you don't know what FX Metalink is, uh, I used it in this guy, and it basically it you model a lower res version of your object, and uh, you use that for the, the rigging with the bones and the morphs, with some exceptions. We'll get to that later. Um, but it makes things simpler and faster and easier, and also gives it a nice stretchy quality that I love, and. Uh, so let's dig into it. I'm quite certain I'm not going to have you sit and watch me do the entire thing, but we'll show you some of it. So here's my uh, moose layer. I'm in silo, by the way, but you could do this in Lightwave too. I, I have. I'm going to uh, copy this guy. Okay. Let's see, I'll call this original and I will put him in like a hidden eh, maybe just wireframe and then I'll call that the meta version and I'll lock that one and we're good it's the first time I made a meta object inside of silo I always did them in lightwave That's what I wanted to happen. That wasn't painless at all. Yeah. by the axis of my selection. Now I can just move it down like that. Eh, maybe not quite so down. Yeah. That's good. Let's see, I think I might want to just lose some of these polygons on the other side. Yeah. Don't need these. However, I do want another section here so we can be more expressive with his lips although there are no points in the original object here so I don't know how it's going to work out but we'll find out so basically what I want to do is have a uh, a, a, a line of polygons with no thickness going down the middle of his lips and then we can uh, use morse and bones and all sorts of stuff to have those move around and those will deform the higher polygon version Oh, I think I've shown you enough for now. I will pause this recording and then uh, resume once I've gotten a lot more done. 
It's going to make it look like it was really easy on your end. So I'll see you on the other side of the edit. Okay, I believe I am done with this phase. Uh, the, the body is largely untouched. I, I did get rid of this double line here. See, so yeah, it's just one polygon because that second line is for uh, subdivision purposes. No need for that with a meta object. It's not, not going to be subdivided. But there are a number of changes in the upper portion. You can see the uh, the antlers have been replaced with just a sim simple 2D paper version of the antlers. And of course, you saw what I was doing with the lips. Just going right through the middle there. And um, the eyes, all I do is close up the eyes. And uh, these won't be touched. Whoops. Well, I just touched them. They're not going to be touched in uh, layout because the uh, the high detail model has morphed to make the blinks. So this guy is just going to stay put. However, the eyebrow will be animated. So the, the parts that are going to move most will be the, the cheeks from morphing, the uh, eyebrow, the ears, and of course the whole muzzle area. And of course uh, the legs when they do the walking and stuff, but I'm talking about more at this point. So, uh, yeah, I'll bring this into Modeler and proceed to the next step, which would be uh, making some weight maps for these guys so I can put some bones in there and make it move. Time for another edit! Okay, I have uh, painted a weight map for his jaw. And I, you can see I got a skeleton here. Almost a skeleton. Skeleton! And I can um, use uh, rotate skeletons. And you can see the jaw has some nice deformation there. And, uh, you know, this is uh, far from complete. There's all sorts of morphs I can make for the mouth, but this is good enough to get us started, at least to show you FX Metal Link in action. So uh, I'll bring this into Lightwave and put some more finishing touches on there. Edit time! Okay, and we're back. I brought the animal into Lightwave and I put a real simple rig on there. He's got a head bone and a jaw bone and these other bones are just here to, uh, you know, support the structure, keep it from de deforming when I do this. Rotate the... Uh, oops, I forgot. I have the calculation already done. So let me explain what I'm doing here. To use FX Metalink, yeah, you know, I made the simple object here, and then that's him, Moose underscore Meta, and then of course I took the original object, it's a child of of the meta object. The meta object has all the bones and stuff. And uh, I made a, a simple animation like that. And then I uh, used cloth effects. Normally you would just use like soft effects with uh, zero operators just basically to record your point information for the animation. But in this case he's got the little dangly thing, his little uh, jaw scrotum that I I wanted to have actually flop around. So I put a little uh, two polygons there of just a like a flat ribbon or whatever. And I have it, you know, doing that thing. So uh, this meta object is going to drive the high poly object. And uh, now that it has the uh, the point animation baked in there, Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to see this for the first time. I'm going to hide the meta and show the big guy. Okay, it's not working. Let's see. Oh, I know what's going on. I forgot to uh, put in the FX Meta Link. Right there. I think I need to put this first. And I also need to add one more thing because 
the eyes have morphs in them. You need to add FX Metalink Morph. And that will uh, allow those morphs to happen. There we go. Yeah. Now let's see what this looks like. It's a little slow. But it seems to work pretty good. I'll make a little animation preview so you can see it in real time. So there you have it. Um, it seems to be working pretty good. Obviously there's a lot more I can do with this. Make morphs for different mouth shapes and uh, expressions and whatnot to uh, add to the pile. But you can see basically the mechanics of FX Metalink and its advantages. Now there are caveats with it. You have to uh, model your character in such a way that nothing's touching something else because uh, everything is based on the distance to the object that is deforming it. So, for example, his mouth is open in the uh, original model. That's why his mouth is open, because if it was closed, it, it, his lips would be stuck together. And, you know, things like uh, fingers should be spread apart, stuff like that, so that uh, everything's separated and the, uh, the proxy object has no trouble moving individual parts individually. So, uh, yeah, there you go. There's FX Metal Link. I'm going to continue to uh, make more morphs and uh, rake this guy's face up. And I'll see you in the next update. Ciao!